what a lovely view. Oh, so nice. That's what I love about this bridge. In the morning, in the evening, whenever I go over it, I can just look out and there's always a really nice view. Especially when it's really hot like now. It's just so pretty. So nice. And there's a little nature reserve just there that uh, you can walk around and you can also see the bridge from it as well. You can see all these nice views and some more lovely nice views. And it is quite secluded. I didn't even know it existed until I moved onto the island. <laughs> but it is quite a nice quiet place, which I really like. It's not bombarded with a million people like the beaches. <laughs> Especially in weather like this, the beach is absolutely packed. Everyone comes onto the island, especially on the weekend, to go to the beach and then they all leave to go home. <laughs> And they all leave their rubbish everywhere. <laughs> not everyone, but a lot of people do. It's not really good. We should always try and make sure we're not littering up other people's habitats. Or just the, the world in general. How about let's just not litter it, guys. Being all environmentally friendly here. I don't know why. Oh, but it's so nice to feel some kind of warmth. My phone said it was like 27 degrees. I don't know if it is that now or if that was what it was when it last updated, which was like at 12 uh, that's when I last looked at it, to be fair. I don't know, but it is nice. I need to get out more. I need to do more things and enjoy this sun before it goes. I keep thinking, like, oh, it's only going to last a week and then we're going to have no sun. But actually, this is kind of really only the start of summer and it's already quite nice. We've had such a bad winter this year and we had such a... Well, we'd, we didn't really have a summer last year. We did for a little bit, but I don't think it really lasted long. So I'm kind of glad that it is actually feeling like a proper summer now and I don't want to waste it. But sometimes it's just too hot to ride. You go out and you're just dying. It's so hot. And then when you get too hot, you've got the risk of having like heat stroke and things like that. You've got to make sure you're hydrated. And you can't really stay hydrated on a bike unless you stop to take a drink. So if, if you're planning a journey where you're going to be going on a long ride somewhere, make sure you plan a few stops along the way if it's really hot. It's just so you can get off the bike, have a drink, chill out. Because if you get too hot, you're not going to be concentrating as much and that can hinder your riding. And you don't want to crash just because you were too hot and you, you, know, you weren't thinking properly. You just feel like an idiot, wouldn't you? <laughs> I've crashed before for stupid reasons and felt like a massive idiot. <laughs> so you normally learn from them. But that's my advice to you guys. Stay hydrated in the sun. I've got to go on a long ride at some point on this bike. I've been about halfway to Lumi's on it. I haven't gone all the way. I've got to do that at some point. Go all the way to Lumi's, chill out there for a little bit, come all the way back, go down one of my favourite roads, which some of you guys want to see as well. So... Maybe I'll film it. It'll be interesting to do it on this bike. Well, actually, I've got plans now to um, get new tyres for it because when I first got this bike, there was a bit of a flat spot on the rear tyre. The front one's pretty much fine, but the rear one is a little bit off. But it, they still work both, and they've still got loads of tread left. But I just think, well, I might as well just get some new tyres and just start fresh. Then that way, I've got ones that'll probably feel a lot nicer especially brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm getting the money back now um, from my bike, my CBF that I had. That's been, well, it has, it's already been sold, but I'm gonna be getting the money back from that soon. So I thought, well, why not use that money to buy new things for this bike? So I'm gonna use it to get new tires. And I've already decided on what tires I'm gonna get because I got Spicy to help me because Obviously, he knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. I know a little bit about bikes, but not enough about different tyres. I've not really been... Well, I've been riding for nearly four years now, but um, I've never really had to change my tyres because I had stock tyres before. There was no point ever changing my tyres on the CBF because I knew I was going to upgrade it at some point. And uh, there's just no point upgrading tyres on a 125 unless you're going to have it for a really, really long time. So now is a good opportunity. I mean, this bike's really got good tyres, but why not upgrade them? And I'm going to go for something a little bit nicer, actually. But yeah, Spicy knows so much more about tyres than I do, so I've got him to help me pick some. And I'm quite happy with the choice, so we're going to go ahead and get that done at some point. And then, oh my God, it's going to feel... I just imagine it's going to feel so much nicer. So I can't wait for that. But yeah, that's uh, really all I wanted to talk about today. I haven't really got anything else to say, so I'm just going to leave the video here. 
I know it's sort of the same place as last time, but I can only really film on my way to and home from work. So um, <laughs> you're just going to have to deal with it, guys. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.